Let's talk how to prevent stain from coming back. My name is Andrea Tarowski. I am a dental hygienist. So the best thing you can do is to get your teeth cleaned on a regular basis because any of those stubborn stains that might have been caused by tartar, you cannot take that off with your toothbrush and you need to clean that off first. But you can still prevent more stain from coming back and this is how you do it. So a lot of people think, oh, well, I'll just give up coffee and this will get rid of my stain, no problem. It's not that that simple. You can drink coffee, but then just make sure to rinse with water afterwards and even uh, kind of like swish with that water like you would a mouthwash. Swish that through the teeth and that will help to limit those stains from sticking to the teeth. Because anytime those teeth aren't perfectly smooth, which happens anytime after we're eating or drinking, you can run your tongue along your teeth now. If you just brush them, they should feel perfectly smooth. If they don't, by the way, you need to brush again and you're not brushing well. So brush well and then the teeth are perfectly smooth and then it kind of has like a fresh canvas, right? But as soon as we eat or drink anything, that kind of stays on the teeth, creating a layer and more stain can easily attract to that layer. So in a perfect world, if you're able to brush after every meal, that would be fantastic. But I also remind my patients not to brush too hard. If you're brushing too hard, you're actually taking off that protective microscopic layer of the enamel that is actually causing more stain. So just be careful to not brush too hard. And you can also make the teeth sensitive if you brush too hard. But let's say you're just brushing twice a day. That's perfect. Once in the morning, once at night and make sure to rinse with water after every meal and get your teeth cleaned often every six months if you can. I'm not just saying this because I'm a dental hygienist but I'm saying this be because stain is going to form on the teeth over time no matter what you do because tartar is going to form if you're not getting your teeth cleaned on a regular basis. Once tartar is there you can't brush it off you can't pick it away it's going to keep coming back and it's going to always be there so we need our um, specialized tools to scrape that tartar off for you and then you're off to a good start once again. When it comes to stain, you could have the teeth whitened. This will change the overall color though of your teeth, not necessarily the stain that's attaching onto your teeth afterwards, but it is nice to get your teeth whitened. If you have the staining removed um, with your dental hygienist, you can get your teeth whitened after that and then you really have a nice clean slate. Rinse with water often brush at least twice a day. Use the water pick to help to clean in between the teeth as well because toothbrushes can't quite reach there and stain often starts in between the teeth for a lot of people and then spreads outward. Okay, you could have black stain, yellow stain, brown stain, um, orange stain, depending on the types of foods you're eating. But if you're following those steps, you will notice stain isn't coming back nearly as, as quickly and it's just easier to maintain it. So rinsing with water is key. I tell patients in a perfect world, you would only be drinking water because juice is gonna stain, pop is gonna stain, alcohol is gonna stain. Anything other than water that you're drinking is going to stain. Even eating something is it's go it's going to stain too, but we all have to eat our food. But drinking something stains even easier because it just sticks to the teeth easier creating more stain okay so i hope this helped you guys let me know if any questions and i'll see you in the next one